fellow graduates. Thank you for joining us along with your family, friends, and others who have supported you throughout your academic journey at Lakehead. I'm Abby and I'm thrilled to be graduating this year with my Bachelor's of Education. While you wait for our program to begin, please gather your friends, family, and others who have supported you, whether they're in person or virtually, to help celebrate the day. Our program will begin shortly.
Hello everyone, my name is Harsh Khilani and today I am so very proud to be graduating with my Masters in Computer Science degree from Lakehead this year. To make the most of our special celebration, we want to hear from you. Share your experience with your fellow graduating students by tagging your social media messages with hashtag LakeheadGrad. Thanks again for tuning in and we will begin shortly.
Bonjour, and welcome to our session today, um, Convocation 2021. And I want to thank everybody for coming here uh, to show their support and their happiness for our graduates today. And as always, I thank the Creator. I'm going to say a prayer mixed um, for our students and staff and everybody that has come here. And say, Bonjour, Gitchimanitu, Miigwech, for all the children and people that have come here. Kanagaman Nukam Gigish, Nishomasak, Nakomasak, Minwabanojin, Woshe Abanojin, Miigwech Gitchimanitu, for the day. We have an ogen for the um, life that they have, the children, and how they grow up and to become adult students at an institution like this. Thank you, Creator, for the sunny day that we have and all the blessings that we have been given in Bimatsu, our good life that we can live. So I ask a blessing on everybody to be good, travel safe, and do well. I know our graduates will do just that. So thank you for coming to LU and helping us to help you and be good. Miwe, miigwech, wawashina. Welcome to Lakehead University's 56th session of Convocation. I have the distinct pleasure of being Chancellor of Lakehead University, and it is my great privilege to declare this Convocation open. Madam Chancellor, graduates, faculty, staff, family, friends, and supporters. I am Dr. Michel Beda, Dean of the Faculty of Health and Behavioral Sciences here at Lakehead University. I would like to start by extending our appreciation to Elder Jer Martin, who opened our ceremony with a blessing, and recognize Madam Chancellor McLeod for officially opening our ceremony today. I would like to acknowledge the original custodians of this land and pay my respect to the elders, past, present, and future, for they hold the memories, the tradition, the culture, and the hopes of indigenous peoples. I would also like to recognize that our Thunder Bay and Aurelia campuses are on the traditional lands of some of this country's indigenous peoples. In Thunder Bay, we are on the traditional lands of the Fort William First Nation, signatory to the Robinson Superior Treaty of 1850. In Aurelia, Lake University resides on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe people and of the Rama First Nation. We also acknowledge the history that many nations hold in this area and look forward to respectful relations with the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit in the spirit of reconciliation. To our graduates, I would like to personally offer my most sincere congratulations for not, or not only earning your degree, but for doing so in rather unusual and challenging circumstances. Indeed, the last 16 months will in some ways define your generation. But the pandemic itself will not define who you are. It is how you respond to the challenges it created that will define you. The pandemic will have a permanent impact on some aspects of our society, while it may be transient in some other aspects. This virtual convocation ceremony is one of the many changes resulting from the pandemic that I hope as a dean, will be transient. Deans, many of you may not know what we do, are mostly administrators. We do not have much contact with students over the course of their studies. However, convocations are unique opportunities for us to see the many students who have succeeded in completing their degrees. In normal circumstances, I congratulate every student as they cross the stage. I missed that last year, and I truly miss that this year again. I miss seeing all the smiles, the shouts of joy from the audience when the names of graduates are read, and I always feel tremendous pride in the students' accomplishments. Convocations are also a moment for me to reflect on the time, energy, and yes, money, that is invested to complete a university degree. It is a moment to reflect on the sacrifices that made this degree possible, and that it often requires the efforts and support of many. I thank your families, friends, and all others who supported you during your years at Lake University. I thank our many staff, teaching assistant, clinical instructors, and professors who contributed in so many ways towards your education. Finally, I thank you, the graduates, 
for your hard work and your perseverance. You should be proud of yourself. Obtaining a university degree is a significant accomplishment. And let this degree be a sign that you should never underestimate, underestimate what you can accomplish. It is now my pleasure to introduce our president and vice chancellor at Lake University, Dr. Maura McPherson, to bring a special greeting to all of our graduates today, followed by the rest of our program. Graduates, as we come together today for this special virtual convocation ceremony, you should be so happy and proud of the hard work, thinking, and commitment that has brought you to this day. I wish we were able to share the celebration of your accomplishments together with your family and friends and with your Lakehead family on our campuses. While the pandemic has limited our ability to come together in person, it has not limited the significance of your exceptional achievements and the promise of future successes that stem from learning and living these past years as a Lakehead University student. You have accomplished so much here at Lakehead, and we are hopeful that your efforts going forward will make our world a better place. We are especially proud of how well you've adapted to the challenges we have all faced this past year and how you have demonstrated your resilience and spirit and ownership of your learning goals. Back in 2018, Paul Davidson, head of Universities Canada, stated, the role of universities is to build resilient, persevering people who are fluent in cultural diversity. That resilience comes from learning to see opportunity and problems and to be determined to do the hard work to realize those opportunities. And this is ever more crucial when quick, superficial, disappointing fixes are presented at every turn. The theme for our most recent Lakehead report to the community was hope and resilience. The report opened with, in times of adversity, hope is the thing that gives us strength. Lakehead University is a community where hope runs deep because our students, faculty, staff, and alumni are committed to looking beyond ourselves, to offering the best of ourselves our report featured stories and videos celebrating inspirational achievements by students like Fatima Ahmed, a 2020 Bachelor of Ed graduate. She's already taught elementary students at the schools in Nunavik, assisted in the fight against HIV in Botswana, and worked with women's development officers in the South Pacific, and served as the executive director helping youth in Inuvik. We celebrated community-engaged scholars like Canada Research Chair in Sustainable Food Systems, Dr. Charles Levko, who works closely with grassroots organizations like the Indigenous Food Circle to find solutions to create a more equitable food system. And our proud alumnus, the Honorable Patty Haidu, Canada's Minister of Health and the Federal Member of Parliament for Thunder Bay Superior North, who's been at the forefront of Canada's response to the pandemic, leading a complex health response as a global pandemic turned our world and country upside down. Our world and plans are so different now from what was in place when you entered Lakehead University. However, our strategic priorities and specific hopes for you are still strong and fitting today. Lakehead's fundamental strategic priorities are focused on growing our excellence in teaching, learning, and research in a manner that's accessible to all. We believe that everyone from every region and country should be able to access the same opportunities for social and economic mobility. Our mission to be an innovative, comprehensive, innovative university, to think more deeply about what we do and why we do it has never been more important, and that we share and collaborate for the greater good. For the second year in a row, Lakehead University has been recognized as one of the top 100 universities around the world in the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. 
The impact rankings are the only international performance tables that assess universities against the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. These interdependent goals address global challenges facing the world, including poverty, inequality, peace and justice, and reflect the grand global challenges Lakehead focuses on through its teaching, research, and partnerships. You, our newest class of university graduates, are even more well prepared to lead the lasting transformation our world needs now. While experiencing the tumult of this pandemic, we've become profoundly aware of how well we've adapted to learning from one another, to sharing resources and expertise, and to seeing ourselves as members of communities collaborating for the betterment of our shared social, economic, and physical well-being. We hope you have become more confident in how to use a wider range of technologies to help you connect and thrive in your chosen careers and professions with new levels of effectiveness, whether neighborhoods or hemispheres apart. To families and friends who have supported and encouraged our students through their personal triumphs and tribulations, we are so thankful for your efforts and hope you see this as your day of achievement too. I and many of my colleagues have also supported our own children, partners, and friends who have embarked upon this and completed this important journey. And we so deeply understand and sincerely applaud the personal, emotional, financial dedication that this journey inevitably requires. Congratulations to you, too. Graduates, this is a time of great change. As both a graduate of Lakehead University and a global citizen, you are poised to create a better future for yourself, for the communities you choose to impact, and for our world. All of us at Lakehead hope you will look on your time here in this spectacularly beautiful part of Canada and in our online communities as a positive, transforming experience, learning and living with amazing students, friends, staff, and faculty who've all done their best to make this day possible. Keep us in your hearts and your minds as you, our exceptional 2021 graduates, make our future brighter. We look forward to learning about your many successes. Thank you, all the best, miigwech. Welcome, Chancellor McLeod, President and Vice Chancellor Dr. McPherson, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, and fellow graduates. Thank you all for joining in this celebration of achievement and for your continued support over the past four years. If a village raises a child, a metropolis puts one through university. To my fellow graduates, revel in this moment, however fleeting it may be. Your degrees remain impartial to your failures. I hope you offer yourself the same courtesy. Every discipline has a big question. How do we think? How do we move? Why do we buy or sell? Each presents its various theories and models, all in an attempt to answer one question common to us all. Who are we? So, who are you? Don't worry. That's rhetorical. I can't psychoanalyze an entire graduating class. We currently find ourselves at a very transient stage in our lives, confronted with many changes. The transition from the role of student to professional may be tumultuous. Many of our challenges as having previously existed in an academic context will become personal. We will be tasked with answering questions of character, such as, what are your biggest strengths? We will be tested not only on what we know, but on who we are. This expectation to both measure ourselves and our work against unfamiliar standards can be daunting. So we seek validation in what sets us apart from others and find solace in that competitive edge. It was in this way that I had attempted to find myself. I remained fixated on answering these questions of who I was and what my purpose was 
without ever acknowledging to whom or to what I was contributing. Comforted in what I had to offer, I became ignorant of what others had to offer me. My experience at Lakehead as one of community and collaboration taught me that true self-discovery is realized through our connections with others. To answer the question of who I am, I must first ask who you are. In doing so, I've come to find my edge not so much in competition, but in conversation and in understanding. I encourage you all to do the same, especially in these times of uncertainty. As the celebrated Austrian psychiatrist and author, Viktor Frankl writes, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Congratulations, my fellow graduates, both on your achievements and on your adaptability in the face of change as you continue to navigate the unknowns of this ever-changing world. It is there in the shadows of uncertainty that your light will shine brightest. Thank you. I'm Karen Poole, an associate professor in the School of Nursing within the Faculty of Health and Behavioral Sciences. I'm delighted to host the conferring of the degrees and medals portion of the ceremony. Today, our graduates join us virtually from locations all across the globe to celebrate in their academic achievements. Before we begin, I'd like to request that wherever our graduates may be today, that you please join your fellow graduates in standing together. On the recommendation of the Senate of Lakehead University, I present the candidates who have fulfilled the academic requirements for degrees and diplomas and have complied with all other requisites of the university. Madam Chancellor, will you admit these graduates? By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit you as graduates of Lakehead University. You may now take your seat. Madam Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Health and Behavioral Sciences, I have the honour to present the Doctor of Philosophy graduates from the Faculty. Karen Almutadi. Nicole Brenna Marshall. Victoria Ashley Petura. Elaine Toombs. That concludes our Doctor of Philosophy graduates. I now have the honor to present our master's graduates from the faculty. Anita Ennis Henslin. Aisha Alawi. Michaela Bohonicki. Brianna Elizabeth Boyd. Courtney Ellen Brooch, Dr. Venora Disa, Lauren Dalacondro, Maria Forge, Maris Garriock, Matthew James Garrod. Jonathan Lawrence. Norma McDonald. Laura Matthews. Tammy McLaughlin. Gertrude Nyachoti. Shauna Powell. Mackenzie Rourke, Sarah Syed, Mansi Shaw, Elizabeth Ruth Wall. That concludes our master's graduates. Graduate Diploma in Professional Kinesiology, Lael Dubuc. I now have the honor to present our undergraduate graduates from the faculty. Paulina Abraham. 
Elinam Afedenyo. Kathleen Alexander. Leah Omgren. Ashley Amuni. Hannah Armstrong. Frank Avella. Blythe Bailey. Cassandra Barkley. Harneet Basra. Christopher Beadle. Emily Beatty. Lea Bulyu. Victoria Benyavides. Jasmine Carrion Bester. Kaylee Boloski. Olivia Blay. Jessica Boyd. Shannon Boyle. Allison Bruff. Madeline Broucha. Amanda Caldwell. Alyssa Carpino. Switke Chan. Jaden Charlton. Brendan Chasse. Y.K. Chung. Chamila Chukwu. Alyssa Chichigoy. Gabriella Chaolka. Alyssa Clendenning. Ruby Coles. Brianna Colistro. Lily Cahoon, recipient of the President's Award. Robert Cahoon. Cassandra Connell. Karen Cox. Kelsey Crisp. Kara Crum. Miaosen Sui. Maxine Kure. Danan Da Silva. Tracy Gordon. Kate Dawauda. Jill Angela de la Cruz. Francesca de Libero. Rachel Duaron. Joshua Dolph. Sarah Doyle. Amanda Drake. Kaylee Dunn. Kaylee Dunnigan. Kendra Edwards. Justin Irvin. Josephine Farr. Ashley Ferguson. Alyssa Victoria Freitas. Margaret Frisbee. Nicholas Gauthier. Abby Gould. Elizabeth Gracia. 
the recipient of the Dean's Medal for the Faculty of Health and Behavioral Sciences, Ashley Gravel. Rudy Graywall. Serena Grigio. Jade Whitecloud Gustafson. Galila Hailu. Michaela Halyushak. Kennedy Hamilton. Recipient of the Dean Braun Scholar Award for the Health and Behavioral Sciences. Marie Rose Hanyer Wimfra. Letitia Hardowar. Emma Harrington. Alina Haino. Alicia Henderson. Alana Hogan. Jillian Holmes. Samantha Cassandra Hudson. Kessa Idison. Ide Kunle Ifa Biyi. Madeline Irvin. Jordan Jakowski. Laura Jacobson. Julie Jacklack. Lindsay Johnson. Kelsey Johnston. Emily Cantola. Holly Kehoe. Faith King. Loretta Contour. Caitlin Kotala. Elaine Laberge. Jamie Labrador. Paige Lacroix. Alyssa Laflamme. Tia Lampo. Jessica Paula LaRose. Kyra Lavoie. Chiang Lo Lee. Larissa Lenstrom. Rowan Leaf. Samantha Amanda Long. Sandra Hazel Lopena. Karen McDougall. Haley McIsaac. Alex Manure. Brooke Matson. Julia McCallum. Marley McConnell. Mary McDonough. Aaron McInnes. Sarah McRae Denny. Melissa Carolyn Miller. Jordan James Minick. Madison Montgomery. Michaela Moore. Madison Mota. Mufara Empsanuga. Jonathan Muya. Maham Nasir. Laurel Norris. Madison Knott. 
Chinwe Wachuku, Kaylin O'Hara, Lauren Oak, Kelsey Auten, Victoria Pagani, Menser Piazitti. Sharon Michelle Parker, Angelica Pathak, Emily Pollicky, Megan Pollicky, Joseph Puglia, Lauren Perrier. Gabriella Peters, Christina Marie Petsinis, Ashley Poletti, Janica Polki, Brianna Preet, Fatima Rahman. Samantha Reed, Nicole Reason, Juliana Renzulo, Tiffany Abigail Reynolds, Jillian Ricci, Kiera Ridal. Justine Taylor Robert, April Roy Holm, Brenna Nicole Rutherford, Jessica Sadler, Danielle Saunders, Bianca Scarcello. Lindsay Sheltima, Megan Schultz, Teresa Schusler, Daisy Shannon, Grace Malvina Sharon, Brianna Shields Anderson. Haley Shipston, Allison Shortreed, Nuvjot Sidhu, Temiskin Benti Sirica, Alana Smith, Romney Kaur Soki. Jacqueline Elizabeth Spitoff, Tegan Stairs, Anna Maria Stopa, Mackenzie Street, Desmond Sun, Reagan Swearhun. Christine Tate, Megan Trockamchuk, Rinda Jean Trout, Megan Turcott, Taylor Turnbull, Emily Upton, Asia. Bass, Madeline Walshaw, Sarah Wang, Tiana Warwick Dawkins, Bailey Watt, Brooklyn Watts. Nicole Welch, 
Shania White. Lauren Williamson. Brooklyn Wilson, recipient of the Dean Braun Scholar Award for Health and Behavioral Sciences. Rita Winter Duncan. Drew Wood. Sarah Elizabeth Grace Wood. Andrea Kristen Page Yesno Linklater. Owen Zirkin. Aaron Zisko.
Madam Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the graduates from the Faculty of Health and Behavioral Sciences. Before we proceed with the rest of the program, we'd like to pause to honor one of our nursing graduates who was not with us to celebrate this day. Last year, the Lakehead University community mourned the loss of one of our graduates. Rebecca Dilks had completed the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program in April of 2020 and would have graduated that May. The School of Nursing, its faculty and staff, and most importantly, the classmates of Rebecca Dilks want to acknowledge the deep loss that the Dilks family experienced at Rebecca's passing in April, so soon after completing the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program just as she would have been embarking on her nursing career. Everyone commented on her love for family and all people, especially the elderly, and what a caring and compassionate nurse she was. We are privileged to recognize Rebecca's accomplishments and would like to ask everyone to join us in a minute of silence. Thank you. Hello, class of 2021. My name is Linda Henderson. I am a board director for the Alumni Association of Lakehead University and a proud graduate of the Master of Science program in the Theory of Coaching 1985, the Bachelor of Education program 1985, and the Honors Bachelor of Physical and Health Education program 1982. It is my distinct pleasure to address you in your celebration today to bring greetings on behalf of my fellow board members and our extended alumni family. I remember my graduation day with anticipation and excitement, but I was also a little sad as I thought my time with Lakehead was coming to an end. Like you, I became an alumna and quickly realized that my time with Lakehead was far from over. I was joining a network of over 65,000 proud alumni living and working in over 103 countries all over the world. You are now a part of this extended family of amazing individuals. You are Lakehead for life. And I hope you continue to engage with us. But what does it mean to be Lakehead for life? It means being a part of a family that engages, celebrates, and shares within our communities. We do this through a network of chapters, alumni ambassadors, regional activities, both in-person and virtual, because who doesn't love Zoom? and varsity engagement events when our Thunder Rolls return to action. It also means that each of you will be receiving this alumni scarf and pin. The Alumni Association is very excited to share the news that going forward, the scarf and pin will be mailed to every graduate. And we made some small changes to the scarf, so you will be the first class to receive and proudly wear the new version. I can't wait to see the pictures of you with it on. I encourage each of you to stay connected with Lakehead and follow your fellow alumni through the website, social media, and our alumni e-zine and the Journey magazine. Moving forward, your uniqueness will come from what you value, the path you follow, and the decisions you make. You have exemplified the very best of Lakehead University, the often unconventional and always exceptional. Once again, on behalf of your fellow alumni, congratulations on crossing the finish line. Take a moment to enjoy your accomplishments. Good luck on your journey. 
And always remember that you are Lakehead for life. Thank you. I would like to offer my personal congratulations to each of the graduates on your achievement. I cannot begin to know the challenges that many of you have faced and overcome to get to this point. I do know that for all of you, the last year and a half have tested your commitment, your adaptability, and your resilience. I know too that the faculty and staff of Lakehead University have worked continuously to ensure that you are provided with opportunities to learn that are as accessible and supported as possible. I trust that despite the unusual challenges of your last semesters, you leave this university with an enthusiasm for learning that will last you for the rest of your lives. I cannot begin to foresee the challenges and the changes that you will encounter as you move forward from here. Your world is not the world I have lived and worked in. It will not be the world of your parents. It's the world of my grandchildren, and it is a world that you will help to shape. I do believe that as graduates, you share a willingness to set goals and work towards them. I am confident that you will be open to new ideas and new approaches. I ask that you stay aware and engaged participants in your new environments, and that you remember always that you can make a difference. I hereby declare this convocation closed. Mm -hmm.